Hello, Parker here. I'm here with Laura. And we're just going to do a quick walkthrough of how we're building our event template components for step three. Um, because we got to bust through these and get them out quickly so you can assemble the template. So I thought it'd be good to just walk through the process of what I did for the events card, which is now live. Um, here I'm booted up our storybook slippers site and I'm on the event CTA and in Safari, for some reason it doesn't work in Chrome for me, but if I'm in Safari, it has this nice little code block down here at the bottom and I just literally, you copy the whole thing. It's cool. And this is um, a new branch, but this is shipped in master. Um, what I did is I just paste the code in here and it's already pretty formatted. Um, and then you have to add logic so that it's pulling in the data from a data file. Instead, if I start a new file, like if you paste it in, it's just the, the pure HTML. The first thing I did was deal with these SVGs. So I take those out and then actually add the image, um, which is somewhere cool in here. Oh. It's right here. Um, so I poured it in as data instead so that when the user's in the CMS, they can designate what image they want to use on the CTA. Um, and I just swap out where the content is for these sweet little ERB includes. Um, the key here is, what's that? Thing goes away right there um, is this test YAML file and this is just the testing data file that we're using to build this template because if we don't have any data in there it's just gonna show up blank and that's not gonna help um, so I just added a couple like a CTA block um, in the YAML format and so each dash signifies a different CTA and those are the two that were designated in our mother template. And then there's another version of the CTA where there's three up. And so I just pulled that data, cut and pasted it over into here. And if you look at this data here back into our slippers, it looks the same. So it's, I literally cut and pasted it. Um, <laughs> and, Let's see. So I get the data. I got my CTA component. And then I've got a three up CTA. So I just created a whole new component because the HTML is slightly less. Maybe in the second iteration, we can add some logic so we can condense those down to one component. But for the speed that we're going for, we're just doing one to one. And then we have our slippers event template, which is very bare bones right now. And you just add a couple if statements here. So if there's a CTA data, we're gonna include the CTA component. If there's CTA three up data, we're gonna include that component. And you'll see that these match how the data is in here. This cool. Any questions? Uh, in the actual um, ERB file for whichever one, um, CTA or CTA3, uh, it said, oh yeah, you have it commented out there, all the below fields will be required by CMS, therefore I don't need if statements. Um, if it's something that's not required by the CMS, um, sh should we put like the entire thing in an if statement or the fact that it's in an if statement in the partial already, that's enough? If So for like, these, since we already have an if statement at the yeah. template level here, so we're safe. We, we just, we don't want it generating the content unless it exists. Um, cool. That logic is going to be iterated on when we put the whole template together. Um, cool. But down to the individual component, like, yeah, I would do always do the if here at the temp the the root template level, and then 
further here, yeah, there's no if statements because we've already, we're already saying, yes, there's definitely a CTA or else this component wouldn't even be here. So it's running through the logic. Cool. cool. Yeah. Um, but that, like, do the best you can on this, this first, the step three. And when we see them all together, we can iterate it on it then. And then when we actually build the real page with real data, then we're going to really be able to iterate again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all the things. Um, and yeah, so I have my terminal fired up here. The part that I wanted to top this off with is I was working on this event copy block. So here's back in slippers and um, I was like, okay, we got three versions. We've got the minimal copy block, the heavy copy block, copy block with image. And so when I first thought it was like, dang, okay, I'll make three components and dang, it's gonna be a lot of cut and pasting. Um, and then I actually thought like, oh, I wonder what's going on over here in slippers. Turns out in slippers, we have, it's pretty much HTML, but there's some if statements here for if there's a heading, now we're going to include the slippers heading. If there's body column one, yeah, we'll add it. And this, all this logic has already been figured out in slippers of like how this data needs to be put in so it displays the correct content. And so I just copied this whole thing and dropped it into dub dub dub. And then if you go over to this, the stories part down here at the bottom, look, we've got our data and it already works. So smart. Not, oh my God, right? So <laughs> then I just, oh, that's a copy block minimum. Oh, that's another copy block. That's, that's heavy. Oop, here's a third one, copy block heavy. Guess what I did in here? And see each dash signifies the new new copy block. So there's my minimum copy block. There's my heavy. There's the, the one with image. It's just like, wow. So I don't have to figure out what these data, what it's called. Um, the slightly tricky part. It was kind of fun. Is then you gotta like put this into the, the ERB. So right. Um, I'm going to deal with the heading um, because that's a separate component and I think I'll just add it to this one. Um, but like here, see if, if there's copy bottom column one, now it's going to run through and actually build it. If there's a CTA, I'm going to build the CTA. And this is the same loop that I ran for the CTA. So if the copy exists, then it's going to run through this code each time. That's going to have to be iterated on. Um, but for the first, first build, it'll get close. <laughs> okay. okay, cool. That's so smart. Cause yeah, that was something I was worried about was, you know, if I didn't build the original view component, I wouldn't, Exactly, like I'd have to comb through and find all the if, else, whatever, but that is so smart to just grab it right from Slipper. Yeah. Grab, the, grab the if, else, and, and the yeah. data, like it's already there. And then you, you get to decide what the front part is. So if you haven't set the loop, like event copy each do, um, let me actually share my screen again, because this took me, so, here it's like event copy each do and then as you loop through the data within here you just start with copy and what the second level of data is whereas if i was on like the main template then you always have to to start with event and what the data is cool. um so like event header body or event title like event description this will be used in the the title description SEO. Okay. Um, and if you need to though, if like you're getting tripped up on the looping, you could always just do event CTA title. Event right. CTA. Okay. Yeah. It'll get you okay. close. 
and then um, to view it locally, like I went to events slippers slash test slash index, I can see the site. Um, yep. But mine looks like not perfect. Like it seems like some of the CSS is there, like the CSS that's within the template is there. I also haven't updated slippers yet to version 11 or 12 or whatever, uh, 0 0.11 or 0 0.12 yet. So I'll do that next. But um, yeah, uh, is it normal for some of the CSS to not be there? Like I can share kind of. Yeah. Let's get out of here. Um, oh like yeah, you're missing, little... um, you're missing all the CSS. Yeah, so I mean, like some of the colors are there which are like directly on the components. Um, but I think maybe because I haven't updated flippers and done the yarn install on on this branch that I'm on, um, maybe that's it because I think the template was just merged in to one of the more yeah. recent versions of slippers. So I would try rebasing with Vassar. Okay, I'll do that as well. And that'll okay. bring it up to speed. Um, cool. Yeah, rebate rebase with Master should because you gotta have the um, partial head in there. Okay. Um, to pull in the CSS, this is the like the big burly thing <laughs> pulls in all the stuff that makes our site work, and then the the spot in here that's actually building the template if we go way down here it's this proxy so we have it wrapped in configure development do so it's only going to run this code when we're on our local development environment not when we actually build it for production and then we have this little proxy here and this is where we say okay we're going to call the data event um we tell where to get the data file and what template we're going to use. Perfect. Somewhere in there, we also tell them to use the slippers file, but I don't quite remember. Oh, wait, wait, now I do. There's, I'm going to watch this later too. <laughs> um, slippers event. Yeah. Ah, nice. So in templates, slippers event, this is where we turn slippers on and then tell it what layout to use. Cool. Very cool. Okay. Good. Cool. This is good. This is good. <laughs> awesome. Okay. Cool. Thank you so much. And <laughs> Godspeed. Uh,